certain plants are susceptible to some pests, spider mites, mealybugs, aphids. We're going to be focusing on how to attack and how to learn about and how to identify correctly. This is my pilea, my beautiful pilea, and I don't know if you can see the top growth looking real bad because I, I caught it. They, they got, I don't know how I missed it because I'm always kind of checking on the crew and just making sure that I got, uh, you know, I, they're okay because they talk to you. I don't know if you know, but they will talk to you and they will show you signs that they're in trouble. Up top is where I did see them about a week ago on my on my pilea. Uh, they were also on my alocasia. I think about a few a month ago, um, I saw them on that one leaf that didn't make it on my allocation. I don't know if you saw that past video. If you didn't check it out, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. But um, I saw them and they're spreading. So what I did was took the leaf outside, quarantined the plant, sprayed it with some neem oil, and uh, thought my problem was gone. And then I got my my prize pilea and uh, it definitely they definitely did some damage because they were on some new growth they were basically sucking the life out of the new growth of my pilea which you see if you do notice your plant is suffering majorly with uh, aphid damage they'll do you'll see certain signs meaning you'll see the leaf basically start to speckle You'll see holes, bright patches, um, you'll see green, but then you'll see like a clearer, whiter spots on them. And then that's how I know, that's how you'll know basically you got aphids. And then you'll see these like, these little bumps, they look almost the same color as the leaf. They, they got a, a camouflage to them that they'll basically look exactly the same color as your leaf. But the only thing that will give them up is basically they, they do kind of protrude because they have pretty long legs and then they have antennas um, they're soft bodied well that's what you need to know to just eradicate them just in case they leave any trails or any eggs or anything like that in your plants um, so what today um, I'm not going to I'm not going to do the neem oil but if you mix insecticidal soap with neem oil get in a spray bottle you can spray your plant down that will suffocate the, the aphids Meaning like they breathe through their skin and they'll get the oil covered. They'll cover themselves with oil and they won't be able to breathe and then they'll die that way. But we're going to go, we're going to do phase two on them. We're going to take some uh, diatomaceous earth. Um, if you haven't seen that video, diatomaceous earth is basically fossils. Basically it's fossils. It looks like powder. You can ingest it. Um, it won't do any damage to you. I'm not sure about pets or anything like that, but it won't do any damage to you, but it will do damage to these pests, mealybugs, any soft-bodied pests, because basically it looks like powder, but if you look at it in a microscope, it's actually so sharp it's like razor blades. So when the mealybugs or when the uh, aphids get in contact with the diatomaceous earth, it slices them up, dices them up, and then they can't survive in that area. So what I'm going to do is basically cover up my plants, and I've been looking at my Swiss cheese plants, I've been looking at my my, uh, my pilea, um, and they I, I see them, I, I'm seeing them a little bit too much for comfort. So they're jumping around, they're moving around, they're mobile, and they're attacking my plants, and I just have to let them know that this is not their place, this is not their, basically they got to go back to where they came from. But anyway, and I'm smiling about that, but I'm really upset. I even got my Spider-Man shirt on because uh, I feel like I'm a superhero. I got to save the day, and I got to knock these guys out. So follow me as I apply phase two. We're going to call this Operation Snowfall. All right, so basically... What I'm doing is I'm going to take my diatomaceous earth, DE, my diatoms, and that's what it looks like. 
in 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 world form. It looks looks like powder, basically. They're diatoms. They're ancient type of creatures that died. I don't know how many years ago, but this is their fossils. And like I said, you can even take it in. It actually will help you out with certain conditions. You can mix it with water and it actually will benefit you. So it's food grade. Um, I drink it every so often for certain ailments, but today we're going to use it to literally rip these aphids up. This is how I do it. I'm taking a normal brush here, and you can also do a liquid form, and you could actually just spray diatomaceous herb, mix it with water, and then when it dries up, the diatomaceous herb is already on there. But since everybody's here, we're going to just powder it up, and I'm going to start with my pilea. And it's good because I'm not getting on most of the solar panels, meaning the leaves, just getting it on the, the plant. It, it also may hurt beneficial insects, bees, things like that, because it, 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 it slices them up for a soft pot. Well, Insects basically it's you know if you're using it outside just be careful because you could hurt your beneficial insects as well But inside there's there's nothing I was thinking about getting some ladybugs ladybugs is also one Other method you could get if you have them outside you could get an enclosure Put your plant in like a tent and release ladybugs in there and the ladybugs will feast on the uh, mealybugs so what I'm going to do now, like I said, we're just getting diatomaceous earth everywhere because I can't have, can't have these, these bugs messing with the crew. So I'm going to put DT, DE on, I'm going to put some DE on my Swiss cheese plant. And we're getting messy, but it's okay. It's for a good cause. I'm going to put DE on my burl max even though he's not getting infected right now we never know I don't know where they would be but I just want to make sure I get it in there pretty good where they might be hiding and doing their thing and thinking they're undetected but I'm letting them hear, letting them know giving them notice that they can't stay then uh, we're gonna come up top here I'll put you up top there because I know they were up top here on my other Swiss cheese plant just gonna mix it around just in case they're in the soil. Also works for fungus gnats. When the larval stage, if they're crawling around in the uh, the dirt, you can knock them out on the larval stage because it'll slice them up before they get to flying around. Then I got a burl max cutting. I'm just gonna put a little bit there, put a little bit there, just a little bit, just in case they want to crawl up. And um, still, this is my uh, my new angel wings. I'm gonna just put them on there just in case I got any critters on there. Then get them nice and sliced up. Put on my croton in the joints there. Where else will should we put it at? My nice this is a brain. My zarina is getting so big. I'm just gonna tap some right there, and we'll do clean up later once we know in a few weeks that that the uh, aphid problem has been resolved in operation snowstorm was successful just gonna get it everywhere it's gonna shake 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 your de shake your de ow shake 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 your de and i'm gonna get on my constellation I don't know if they're in there, but just in case they're in there, we're going to give them something to worry about. Just in case. And also, I'm doing it on the top. I'm going to do round two on the bottom. Because that's where they like to hide. On the bottom of the plant. To uh, suck the, get into the vanal leaves of it. This is my new Monstera leaf. Just to make sure we get that covered. Such a huge leaf, man. I love my monstera. Then I'm going to come over here to my Xanadu. Just getting it in there just to make sure we don't got any unwanted. 
you know, coming in where they ain't supposed to be. Get you down there. And I just got this uh, Rip Salis. I don't know if any creatures are on that, but I'm going to hit that with some diatomaceous earth as well. Just in case we got some pests creeping up on that. I just got this for five bucks from Lowe's and I paid ten dollars for this guy here but we're just gonna put some there they even attacked my little pup my little pup here you can see kind of the damage on the top leaf I'm gonna just put some diatomaceous surf right there Biggie is my fat boy Sansevieria Angel Wayne Begonia And that's pretty much it guys this like I said this is phase phase one just for entertainment purposes right now cuz this is I'm entertaining you but I'm not happy I'm really upset I'm tired of these little bugs coming in and it's like you can't really avoid them cuz you know once I have so many plants it could be coming from a plant that I just got from somewhere not saying I don't know where it came from but I really don't know where it came from but uh, it's it happens. So get yourself some diatomaceous earth, and don't worry about it. If you see the aphids, get them in time. Notice the signs before they start to attack. Then start your attack, and they won't want that. I don't know if you remember that song, but I'm gonna also put it in uh, string of hearts, just in case. Just in case. We gotta do an update because my string of hearts is actually blooming right now. It's got flowers down there. So well, I got this from Barbara from a, from a customer of mine. She gave me a cutting and it's literally like, it's gotta be like three foot now hanging down. That's pretty much it guys. I don't know if you can hear the little yells and screamings of all the aphids but if they come up they know that you know it's it's gone it's just done deal they're they're done they're done I should have did this a long time ago but I'm glad I shared you this I don't want this to get too much in the burrow max make sure you get that photo photosynthesis going on but yeah this is just for entertainment purposes guys thanks for watching phase two operation snowstorm aphids must go thanks for watching don't forget to hit my instagram page gerard underscore underscore i'm sorry gerard underscore horticulture underscore culture thanks for watching keep growing and keep growing